the same time with the both hands. Yeah. And uh, because everything is white, you have to, to color first and dry. And after that, you use what color? Textile color. Textile color. Textile color. Textile color. Yes. But not, but not um, with water. Okay. Because sponge takes a lot of water. So um, it's never dry and it smells very bad after a while. Mm -hmm. uh, take only color and um, massage. <laughs> so it doesn't have to go through the whole body, just a few millimeters. Okay. Yes. Spy and push very, very, very little. You see, it is very, very le little sponges coming. Yes. If I want to... take the edges away. So it is to um, experience this puppet. Perhaps I find something in the city and I tell the children, yesterday, when I was in the store or the city or somewhere else, I found a little little carrot, and I'm going to take. I thought about our carrot, what we had, mm -hmm. so I bought it as a present. I mean, you don't work with puppets, but you contribute mm -hmm. for the children. Yes, and your colleague who has a carrot can be proud and tell this little carrot I've got from. What do you think? Gayatri. Gayatri. Because she was very, very nice and she was thinking about us, not to carry it. Us, all of us. Yes. So, you see, you can be involved in this work, not directly. Uh, you can send some postcard when you are traveling to the puppet. I see. If um, it, is, it is going to be nice to, to see each other again, or something like that. Actor which is not human, or we could also replace the animals or the birds yeah. with a boy or a girl. Yes, it is. Um, when I when I choose those <coughs> persons I present it, it is because. Those fingers for these. This one and the stick in between. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. I mean, um, if you have humans, human characters, they are all already in some way settled. But you don't, you don't know nothing about carrots. Mm -hmm. Every carrot is unique. <laughs> so it allows you to. Expand because if you have, for example, if you have a dog, we know how dogs are. They can be friendly and they can do, they can bite and so on. We we know, or an uh, other animal or a person or so and so. On. But when you have, when you when you have a carrot, and you take this carrot and came up. Beside, behind the scene, everything you say, nobody can say, no, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Because of surprises. Yes, yes. Because we actually don't know nothing about carrots. How they are, what they're thinking, what they like. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's the way. But when I have human persons, it is always to encourage some child. Yes. So they can identify themselves. Yes. yes. But don't I don't like to have a very very shy puppets because it is uh, easy to stay there. Always shy, always shy. Don't dare. Don't try. You can be shy in the beginning, but then yes. Okay. <coughs> or something. Some some <coughs> naughty. I mean, there is uh, 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 characters, there is uh, actions, there, there is things you can show.
show which are not so good and you show because you want to talk about this yes. how do you think about that are we friends is it friendly what shall we think about to be friendly if you don't like this I can play sometimes a conflict I can play egoistic child with some puppet and then I'm not moralized but I play some situation and I say when I was in preschool there and there I saw that on the garden I play for you and I would like to think I would like your opinion even if I have seen such a thing among the children here I don't say yesterday I saw you do that. outside do that. <laughs> it is always somebody else who is doing that. We don't do that. <laughs> no. That's the, the point with the story. Long, long, long time ago. It is very releasing because it is not now. <laughs> yes. So that is with the puppet also. You can you can play some things that you want to change in your group, but I meant that somebody else, not here. But we can talk about it. So the puppets are very good way to do to tell the things who are not hurt the children, but make them to think about it a lot. And then I came back if I see somebody uh, hit somebody <coughs> on the garden, I can say, do you know, do you remember when I play things I saw in another preschool and you did you didn't agree with that? Yes. You you have forgotten that when you happen now to hit somebody else. So not this. <laughs> Uh, it is uh, very, very easy to children to say what we want them to say, but they don't understand always what they are saying, actually. Uh, in school it, it is uh, very important that the pupil repeat this we call knowledge. But we don't never know if they understand what they are repeating and saying us. So when the puppet make questions, they are thinking about how to explain the things. So it is the way for me as a teacher to hear how they are explaining their thoughts and feelings why they are doing such a thing when they, for example, there were one of the questions uh, we have was why sugar melt? I never thought about why. I know that it is mm -hmm. melting. So I, the public said no, I never thought about it because it was true and I found it out. I, I took contact I take contact with the sugar factory and I ask him what's happened with the sugar in the water why it is melting and the lady explained to me and so on so my puppet could answer so you have just exchange you have a puppet who is very curious and like to change the question, exchange the question and answers. That's the purpose with the puppet. And you have always some in, in no man land. You ask the question, but you know never which kind of question you are going to ask. 